Jose J.G. Gonzalez is a scammer. Arriba, 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 arriba. Jose J.G. Gonzalez came on this uh, flat earth scene uh, pretending to be, well, pretending to debunk Soundly's Lake Punja Train videos. And I immediately became suspicious when Soundly started to shout out Jose in his live streams. Then uh, Jose began to began, began to park himself on Nathan Oakley 1980s uh, flat earth debate streams on a daily basis, uh, presumably to uh, to get the hang of it or to learn, you know, how to talk live, you know, get the experience of talking live. Those who know me can testify that I predicted this guy, Jose, will turn 180 degrees and go back to the ball. I sensed from the beginning that this guy wasn't genuine. There was something wrong about him, you know, the, the things he was saying, the uh, half-hearted attempts at, um, to promote flat earth. I knew immediately that there was something wrong with this guy. Anyway, uh, fast forward to Friday 23rd August 2019 and on his live stream a user named Bball for Life started to uh, super chat Jose. This made one of the panel members, Chris Berry, suspicious as he had donated to Bball Life's uh, son's open heart surgery promotion which Jose promoted. Um, it was a few weeks ago. So how can somebody who desperately needs all the money they can get for his son's open heart surgery then donate it back to somebody on a live stream like Super Chat it to Jose? Doesn't make uh, much sense, does it? This uh, B-Ball for Life character has 31 subs and two videos one of them about a military housing estate something doesn't look right here so he's probably ex-military so in conclusion what it looks like is that Jose and this b-ball for life character cooked up a scheme where they would pretend that his son needed money for open heart surgery. So Jose promoted that on his live stream a few few weeks back and they must have made some money off it. So the the uh, the deal probably was like 50-50 split. And now this guy is giving back Jose while he's old. I don't know. What do you think? You decide. Just be careful, there are so many scammers on the internet. Don't waste away your hard earned money that you know you work like five days, six days, seven days a week for. Just keep it to yourself. <laughs>